with Doug back again. Currently chilling here with old Henry Conart. We got his F-250 over here. We've been hanging out today. We actually just got done shopping. We're up here in the parking garage, parked by ourselves, so we don't get any door dings. Old Ducky over here has been doing fine. I actually have not been driving her this past week. This is the first time I brought her out. She's been parked in my front yard. I do not have the tag for it. Bruce actually forgot my tag down in South Florida. So I've been driving around dirty all day today without a tag. But I have my registration and my insurance. So if I was to get pulled over, I can always just show them that paperwork and I should be straight. But I couldn't hold out. Henry hasn't had a chance to see the truck yet. So I had to drive over here and hang out with him and show him it. But today's video is actually gonna be on his truck. He has, what year was it again? 2012. 2012 F250 6.7. You guys have seen this video, or I'm sorry, you guys have seen this truck in my videos before. Beautiful truck. Honestly, not just because he's my friend, but honestly the best looking F250 I've ever seen. Um, like I said, I'm not just saying it because he's my buddy. He does make a really clean truck. All the trucks have been super clean. He details it every single day. I mean, he has, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Awesome. But the ant research had to throw that in there. <laughs> but, uh, He's thinking about possibly selling this and going back to the Cummins life. He had a fortune Cummins before this truck and he's thinking about possibly selling the 6.7. He had a small issue with the trans. That's what he ma he mainly threw it up on Craigslist to see if he had any buyers for it. And uh, it seems like the trans actually been doing fine. He thought maybe a sil you said a solenoid? Yeah, one of the shift solenoids might have been like faulty. Because you were driving it and it like... It was driving fine. I drove it for probably half an hour and then all of a sudden it was like climbing in RPMs and first and then shifted straight to fifth and was stuck there. We pulled the terminals off and everything reset. And it's been riding fine ever since. Yeah. He posted a whole video on his channel if you guys want to go more in depth on that. Mm -hmm. I'll throw it up on the screen just to make sure for you guys. But he made a whole in-depth video on exactly what happened. But the truck's been running fine ever since. So if you guys are ever interested in buying a F-250, pretty clean one at that. How many miles are on it? 141. So what's exactly like? I know you obviously have 22 by 12 fuels. What you got? Nitto 420s. Yep, 420s. Uh, 305, 45, R22. You have an air dog or a fast? Air dog. Where is it? On the other side. It's right here. Tucked away so you can even see it. Stock height, no rear block. A few things powder coated on here as well, and it has the helper bags in the back. I don't know how well you guys can see it with the lighting. There's the powder coat and then the bags. And I plan on actually taking the bags off, so if you do want it with the bags on, let me know before I do that. These bags actually aren't designed for a stock height truck, but like I said, if you want the bags on there, just let me know before I actually take them off. And then the coils up here are powder coated the same color. Yeah, it matches the turbo, which is an S467. 467. Badges are painted to match everything. Uh, painted mirrors. Painted mirrors. We'll make sure to take this gay sticker off, too. Oh, shit, I, son. I told him he should. He actually, you know what's funny? You removed your Duggett sticker that was sitting right here just to put this sticker on here. Well, no, it was actually because uh, I went to a real estate showing and someone said, What is Duckett? And I was like, <laughs> Trying to explain, and I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this. One of my best friends can even rub my, his buddy's own logo. <laughs> then, uh, amp steps. We can go to the inside. There's kind of stuff everywhere, but full leather, like everything's like pristine, no cracks. Um, that's about as dirty as the floor mats get. Custom zip tie. Custom, son. <laughs> it's white to match the truck. Um, Kenwood head unit, because the stock one decided to go RIP one day. Back seat is even in better condition than the front. I can't show it because I can't even get to it, but there's subs behind the seat. I have two 10 inch DB drive subs. Uh, every single light is LED, headlights, turn signals, mirror lights, tail lights, third brake light. Uh, I know what tail lights? I know they're Gorkon, right? Yeah, those, the tail lights are recon, third brake light is recon and the mirror lights are recon. Uh, and your obnoxiously large tip. Yeah, five inch exhaust on the turbo back. Um, eight inch tip. Oh, the bed cover too. That's actually my favorite part of the truck is this bed cover. Yeah, the trifold bed cover. Leaks every once in a while, but not to where your stuff gets completely soaked, just a couple of drops. 
Then we have this beautiful monster over here. And you used to have a black grill on this truck. I miss the black grill a lot better than this white one. Do you still have the black grill or did you get rid of it? This is it. Oh, that's the, that's the black one that used to be on there? Yeah, it's painted. Um, there's also a little so like rough country fog or cubes as the fog lights. But yeah, here's all the power making stuff. I'm that's losing all. cherry as well and match everything. Dude, why is this? You can see the turbo back in there. I did not power code it just because I didn't want too much red. Um, and then if you look right here, you can see the wheel um, has VD diesel dual fuelers. So it's just a Duramax CP3 on top of the CP4. Um, even, under here. even the LED for the hip or the hood. A couple LEDs out, but it's all good. So <laughs> give it a couple flicks. A couple flicks. This is custom right here. Well, had a little spare EGR plate, so pulls no the battery in. Oh yeah, you got your what caliber bullet is this? Fifty. Yeah. Got the fifty cal antenna. And if you come up close, the whole truck has been. You can't even really get the right light on it. The whole truck's been completely paint corrected and sealed with Adams products, so there's literally no scratches, no dents, or anything on this truck. Is it? Is this uh, a H&S? Maybe H&S. Max. But you're not even in business anymore, though. No. So that's pretty rare. And also, I have Morgan Prim's tunes, and unfortunately, he just passed away recently. So that's kind of cool. Now like he passed away, or that? <laughs> no, <laughs> you're it's like cool you're, that I have his tunes. You're just like he passed away. That's kind of cool. No. <laughs> no, I have his tunes. So that's like it's pretty cool to have his tunes. Yeah, what size is your tank on here? I know your tank is huge. I don't know if you guys can see this. So it came with a. I'm pretty sure that's a Titan. 50 gallon, but the stock fuel gauge only reads for this, like for the stock, for like the stock tank. tank. So I think when I'm like running out of fuel, I have like an extra like 20 gallons, but I'm not gonna risk running out of fuel. So, so it says E, but you still have like more to go. That's what I think the case is. That's what the at least the guy told me. But for anyone who knows, with diesels, if you run out of fuel, it's like not good. So. I'm not gonna risk it. Yeah, don't wanna do that. But definitely a beautiful Plus truck. 30, Third brake light he was talking about. 32 gallons lost me like two weeks in this truck, so. Someone, why everybody's horns are going off right <laughs> now. Just trying to make a video, no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I'm trying to talk him into buying. He's currently interested in buying a third gen. He does have his F-250 on Craigslist right now. I guess I'll throw that link down below as well. We are in the Northwest region of Florida. So if any of you guys are local or are willing to make a drive, he's definitely willing to show it off to anybody. I think, what do you have listed for, 35? 35.5, and that was when I thought, the trans that's when I thought the trans was shot, but clearly it's not shot because I've been, I put another like 200 miles at least on it this week and it's shifting through all the gears fine it doesn't no clunking or anything so with that the price is not 35 grand it books for 38 so, so i think that's a fair price basically just make an offer on it he's willing to are you willing to accept trades or you just basically want to sell it outright unless you have a clean third gen i mean i'll take trades depending on what it is no junk so no no uh, second gens I would take a second gen with would you cash really? on top. You'd yeah. take a second gen? Yeah. What color would you want? The purple? Like Dawson's? Yeah. That purple was clean, man. That, yeah. No, I love it. If I had the money, I would definitely buy it and just daily it. And just have the old come apart over here as a little weekend, little weekend toy. She's been doing great with the P-Pump. I know I'm slacking on the exhaust videos. Me and my brother are actually getting up, obviously, for Christmas here in the next couple days. I'm going to be spending the week at his place. So we're gonna have a, probably a couple of videos coming out on the second gen and the four wheelers as well. Walk around over here. A lot of guys all weirded out. Just staring with his truck. It's so weird doing YouTube videos and people are just staring at you. But uh, then you got Henry over here making up noxious noises. What are you doing? <laughs> but uh, 
Ducky's doing good right now. Like I said, me and my brother have some videos coming out. I know he has the exhaust for the first gen we're going to do. His headlights did come in for the second gen. I don't know if I just ruined that surprise for people or if he's already set it up by now, but this, his headlights did come in for the second gen. So we'll probably be doing those. Have a Can-Am video coming out. And just a bunch of other stuff. I, like I said, I want to have dedicated videos for the truck by themselves. We were just up here in the garage tonight. I know he had mentioned talking about selling his truck and wanting a third gen Cummins. And I really want him to get back in the Cummins game. He actually sold a beautiful black fourth gen for this truck. Don't get me wrong, I love this truck. I just like to have all my friends have Cummins. Obviously we have Skylar with the Cummins. Our brother has the Cummins. I want to get Henry back in the Cummins. Pretty much everyone around here drives Cummins. And you got, you got old Henry over here with a white power stroke. Hey, you can go. Yeah, it's pretty clean. But no short video for you guys. Like I said, if you guys are interested, definitely DM him over Instagram at Henry Conart. I'll put his link in the description below to his YouTube channel if you guys want to see more videos. Any questions, offers, blah, 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 go check him out. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.